for a special treat tonight, folks, as Fozzie Bear, the comedy star of our show, displays his ready wit and nimble mind in a test of comedy that would stump the best. You just name a subject, and Fozzie Bear will instantly give you a joke. So here he is now, the fastest fur in the West, Mr. Fozzie Bear! Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Come on, come on. Yeah, all right, all right. Here I am. Fuzzy Bear, jokes on request. You name anything, any word, any subject, and I, Fuzzy Bear, will hit you with a great joke about it. Don't be afraid, just yell them out and I'll yell them back. Come on. Amoeba. Huh? You said amoeba. Uh, amoeba. Uh, sorry, no foreign words. Next. The word is only foreign to you. That's right. Uh, anybody else over there? You said any word. And yeah. he said amoeba. Right. Right, amoeba. Uh, uh, could I come back to that? Oh, fake. 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 He's a fake. 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 Fake am I? Okay, that does it. Give me that word again. Amoeba. Right, amoeba. Two amoeba walk out of a bar. One amoeba says to the other, say, is that the sun of the moon? And the other amoeba says, I don't know. I don't live around here. <laughs> I did it! I did it! Ah. That's right. <laughs> hey, he, he did it. He's okay. He certainly did. Uh, what does amoeba mean anyway? I don't know. I don't live around here either. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, now the act you've been waiting for, the man with the fur and the funnies, our own Fozzie Bear! Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you all. Yeah. Oh, it's gonna be a great night tonight, uh... Yeah, somewhere, but not here. <laughs> you folks are in for a real treat. Uh... You mean you're finished? <laughs> Hey, come on, come on, you guys. Hey, a lot of these folks want to see me. Well, so do we. You want to see me perform? No, retire. <laughs> hey, look, if, if you don't like me, why do you come here? Oh, because you're one of the top comics in the business. Uh, in the world. In the business world. <laughs> Look, who, who's doing the show, you or me? Well, we're getting all the laughs. <laughs> this is my act. And you're the greatest straight man in the business. Mm. You've never been funnier. Never. <laughs> really? Oh, thank you. You're a wonderful audience. Kisses. Kisses. Yeah. What did we just do? His act. No, we've never been funnier. <laughs> Once again, by popular demand, Mr. Fozzie Bear. Yeah, love you all. Yeah, it's me again, the old Fozzie Bear. Hickory dickory dog, a laugh a minute by the clock. Oh, yeah, well, you better check your clock. It looks like it stopped. <laughs> I go with a lovely girl. She's so bow-legged, when she stands around the house, she stands around the house. <laughs> hey, hey, you remind me of Charlton Heston. Charlton Heston doesn't tell jokes. Well? <laughs> <laughs> Look, I I'm good enough to play the palace. You're not good enough to clean the palace. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't you like my last joke? Yes, if you promise it's your last joke. <laughs> guys wouldn't know a good joke if it fell over one. Well, we're not in any danger with your act. Oh. <laughs> uh, here we are, moving right along now, the uh, comedy star of our show, the man who comes to us direct from a very long engagement, but a very short marriage, the man who thinks that Elton John is a singing bathroom. I'd like now to bring out one of the top comics of the business. <laughs> Since he's not here, Bring out the regular guy. <laughs> okay, here he is now, our very own barrel of boss, Mr. Fozzie Bear. Yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Time for fun with Fozzie Bear. Here's some jokes from everywhere. Uh, hey, 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 it's that silly bear. It's time for the audience to go elsewhere. <laughs> uh, um, if you don't mind, I'll do the jokes. We don't mind, huh? but when are you going to do them? Oh. <laughs> uh, pay no attention to them, folks. They don't bother me. I can handle hecklers in my sleep. Oh, well, don't tell that to the audience. They're asleep, too. <laughs> uh, uh, oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh. Uh, oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Uh, 
listen, I'm going to tell you my best joke, and if you don't laugh, then I'll never come back out on this stage again, okay? It's a deal. Mm. Oh. Ah, ah, uh, uh. These two cannibals were talking. One cannibal says to the other cannibal, who was that lady I saw you out with last night? The other cannibal says, that was no lady, that was my lunch. <laughs> I got you, I got you, and I lied. That was my worst joke. Oh, I love me when I'm good. Pacing, timing, money, money. <laughs> Why did we laugh at that terrible joke? Well, either we're getting soft or we're in the first stages of senility. Okay, here he comes again now, folks. So stand by, sit tight, hold on, and fasten your seat belts. The Muppet Show's own furry funny man. Here he is, Mr. Fozzie. Bye! Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, gang. Grab your shoes and grab your socks. Here come the jokes, here come the ox. Now tonight, I'm gonna try and put something new in my act. Yeah, like comedy, maybe. <laughs> hey, look, guys, I paid a lot of money for this new act that I want to see if it's good, okay? Could it possibly be good? Could it possibly be worse? <laughs> uh, okay, now, tonight, I will do impressions of great movie actors from great movies. Great, oh, wonderful. Love them. Love them. Okay, 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 okay. First, <clears throat> Humphrey Bogart from Casablanca. <clears throat> <laughs> Play it again, Sam. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Now, next is Jimmy Cagney from Mr. Roberts. <laughs> Who took my palm tree? <laughs> okay, next, Terry Grant from all his movies. <laughs> Judy, Judy, Judy. Hey, listen, all your impressions sound the same. Yeah. I can't help that. They were all written by the same writer. He's got a point there. Yeah, on his head. <laughs> okay, any other impressions? Impressions, huh? Yeah, we'd like to see an impression of a bear leaving a stage. <laughs> gotcha, gotcha. Presenting a bear stage. <laughs> ha! Bear, get it on a bear, no one on stage. Oh, I'm too mystic, I love me. I'm too good for this show. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Yeah, he's getting better. Yeah, or we're getting worse. <laughs> Well, folks, we got a little something different for you tonight in the old comedy spot. Our own Fozzie Bear is being joined by our gopher scooter, and here they are doing that classic comedy sketch, the telephone pole bet. Hello, and what's your name? Mike Osnowitzki. Oh, so you're the telephone pole. <laughs> Good old Fozzie. He's never been better. Or shorter. Same difference. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, when I say the words great comedy, it can only mean one thing, so let's really hear it for Fozzie Bear! Yeah, thank you, thank you. Oh, please don't stop. Please don't stop. Please don't stop. Ah. Oh, I can see you're all in a great mood tonight. Well, why ruin it with your act? <laughs> ho, ho, ho. Uh, I could bear you guys with one line. Okay, what's the line? Uh, uh, you, you, you just wait. Is that the line? <laughs> of course it's not the line. Look, look, I'm going to tell a joke, and if they heckle me, if you heckle me, Look out, because I'm ready. Just look out. That's all I can say. Just look out. Look out. That's all I can say. Yep, that's all he can say, all right. <laughs> oh, uh, I learned to handle hecklers by working in a nightclub so tough the hat check girl was a gorilla. <laughs> there were more people in the band than in the audience, and we had a one-man band. Uh, 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 I remember what... Hey, hey, how come you guys aren't heckling me? We love it. That's funny stuff. It's funny. Yeah, topical. Hip. Oh, oh, well, well, well. At this nightclub, a party of 75 came in. A, a lonely, lonely old, old lady, but she didn't, didn't drink much. <laughs> hey, and I wouldn't say conditions at the club were bad, but when we asked where we could take a bath... The manager ran us through the car wash next door. <laughs> hey, hey, fellas. Hey, you guys, will you please... Please, please, we work alone. Aha, <laughs> uh aha. -huh, uh -huh. that, that was my line, my heckler line. See how buried... Me? 
Maybe we ought to go on the stage. Yes, there's one leaving in five minutes. Be under it. <laughs> oh, heckle me, you old fool. Heckle him. Is that a toupee you're wearing, or did your cat die? <laughs> no, <heckle one> <laughs> okay, time once again for that furry, fuzzy, funny man, fabulous, freewheeling, fast and frantic, Fozzy Bear! Hey, 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 hey. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Not so fast. Tonight, I am going to use your assistance. Oh, yeah? Yes, sir. You and I are going to tell the world's funniest joke. Now, right? This is all spontaneous, unrehearsed. Right, Froggy? It's unrehearsed, yes. Okay, okay. Now, Frog of my heart, yes. you will just wait until I say the word here. When you hear me say the word here, you will rush up to me and say, Good grief, the comedians are bare. Good grief, the comedians are bare. Check. When you say the word here. Right. Gotcha. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> Ready? Okay, here we go. Now then, hiya, hiya, hiya. You're a wonderful looking audience. It's a pleasure to be here. Good I... grief, the comedians are bare. <laughs> <laughs> she just said here. That was the wrong here. Which is the right here? The other here. Sure. <laughs> go, go, go. Okay. <laughs> hey, hey, folks. This is a story you're going to love to hear. Good grief, the comedians are bare. <laughs> What you said here? Not that here. No wish here. Another here. How am I going to know? You know what you hear. Good grief, the comedians are there. Nice. <laughs> all right, all right. Listen, yes. what? you will know when I point to you. <laughs> all right, don't grumble. <clears throat> Say, a funny thing happened to me on the way to the theater. At the stage door, I pass a bunch of Muppet fans, and suddenly I hear... Good grief, the comedian's a bear. No, he's a nut. He's a wearer in a necktie. Did you understand that joke? No, but I don't speak Italian. <laughs> time for that riotous, mirthful bundle of laughs, Mr. Fozzie Bear! Thank you! Oh boy, oh boy, what a fantastic audience you are! I, no, I mean it, I mean it! I've seen audiences come and I've seen them go! Well, you're seeing them go now, right out the door! <laughs> Says you! That's right! Says you! That's right! Says you! Well, you better have a way out of this! I do, I do! Says you! Says you, Hayakawa! Hmm? Says you Hayakawa, a great Japanese actor. And speaking of Japanese actors, did you know Toshiro Mifume means no smoking in Japanese? Uh... Well, he's either brilliant or that's the dumbest thing I ever heard. Oh, you can't stop the old fuzzy tonight. I'm really cooking. I'm one rare bear. Uh... Hey, you're a square bear that ought to be served medium rare. Oh. <laughs> uh, and now, my tribute to Marcel Marceau, an impression of a man balancing himself on one leg. Count them. One. Here we go. Hey. Uh, thank you, Lord. No uh, now, uh, now, a man balancing himself on... No legs! Yeah. <laughs> uh, thank you, I love you. Yes, I love you. Mwah. Oh, I could stay on forever. Yeah, you stay on any longer, you'll be running into the prayer of the day. <laughs> <laughs> Senior citizens one, bear zero. <laughs> Okay, ladies and gentlemen, uh, tonight we thought we'd give Fozzie Bear a rest. No, you're not giving him a rest, you're giving us a rest. <laughs> yeah. Okay, uh, be that as it may, substituting for Fozzie tonight is our special guest star, Mr. Bruce Forsyth! <laughs> Thank you. And may I say, you look a wonderful audience. Now, don't be too sure. We haven't heard your jokes yet. <laughs> Sir, you're old enough to have heard my jokes, Bob Hope's jokes, and Milton Berle's. In fact, if you've heard Milton Berle's jokes, you've heard everybody's jokes. Uh, same old stuff. We want new blood. Yeah, well, you certainly look as though you could use some. Why don't you go to the blood bank and cash an artery? Good. Good stuff. Yeah, I've heard better. I'm sure you have, sir. You know, in fact, at your age, you're lucky you can hear at all. <laughs> only kidding, only kidding. You've probably got a great sense of humour. In fact, I know you have. I saw your wife outside. 
Oh, he's burying me. He's burying me. All right, but you know, one thing I like about our two countries at the moment is we do have this cultural exchange going on. I mean, we send you lots of our drama shows like Upstairs, Downstairs, The Six Wives of Henry VIII, um, the, the Forsyth Saga, and by the way, I thought Eric Porter played my life brilliantly. <laughs> I was going to play the part myself, but they said I wasn't the type. And uh, then, of course, you send us your drama shows like Columbo, Starsky and Hutch, Policewoman, and not Shakespeare, perhaps, but just as violent. <laughs> and by the way, thank you for Kojak. He's made such a big hit in, in our country, and he's such a sportsman. Goes to Scotland, plays golf, and he's also a good 10-pin bowler. Got the head for it. But um, he gets very annoyed at the bowling alley because people keep sticking their fingers up his nose. <laughs> You've got to be a split. Anyway, well, don't let's talk about him. Let's get back to uh, me. Ladies and gentlemen, me. I'm sure... Uh, Mr. Forsyth. Oh, please, please call me Bruce. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, the one and only Fozzie Bear. <laughs> <laughs> oh, see, see, see those guys up there? The, the minute I come out, they, they, they start worry, up. They worry. start up. Don't worry. They do. You, they do. You see, the, you see the box they're in? Yeah. I may decide to bury them together. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Oh, this, boy, see, see how he handles them, see? See, I, I, was, I was watching you in the wings over there. Yeah, well, why don't you flap them and fly out of here? <laughs> oh, oh. Look, you can handle those two. Well, you, you can do it. All you need, all you need is the is a bit of pacing, a bit of timing. Yeah. The, the right retort, the right line. Oh, uh, right? he couldn't throw a line to a drowning man. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, oh, okay. Ah, uh, do you mind? We work alone. Uh, that is, uh, unless we work together. How's that? A little soft, Fuzzy. Uh, Go for the jugular vein. There. Go right in. Right there. Oh, okay. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, oh, oh. Uh, hey, is that a suit you're wearing? It's a nice one, yeah. But won't your wife notice the hole in the living room rug? <laughs> uh, that's good. Now you're rolling. Go in for the kill. Oh, Go in for okay. the kill. Hey, that's some nose you got there, Buster. Why don't you rent yourself out as an anteater? <laughs> I like it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Quit while you're ahead. You call that a head? I've seen better heads on cabbages. <laughs> you don't want to lose your audience. You, you call that an audience? It looks more like an oil painting. <laughs> Believe me, you've got him. Got him? Who wants him? Who wants him? Oh, no, no, enough, enough. We surrender, we surrender. No more, no more. You did it, Fuzzy. Ah, uh, I did it, Bruce, I did it. Oh, I did it, I did it. Oh, 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 Bruce, oh, this is the happiest moment of my life. Oh, just, just learning from a pro like you. Working side by side with one of the great... You even learned how to cue the big musical finish to the comedy spot. You did? Yeah? Yeah. All right. Oh, we ain't got a barrel of money. Maybe we're ragged and starving, <laughs> but we travel along singing a song. Thank you, Mr. Forsyth. It's my pleasure, Mr. Bear. Hey, we travel along singing a song. Side by. Right now it's time for our own king of comedy You've no doubt heard the expression The next act needs no introduction Yeah, you're right He doesn't need an introduction He needs an act <laughs> In your opinion, maybe But Fozzie Bear gets over 200 letters a week Mm-hmm, yeah But if he paid his bills He wouldn't get any <laughs> I'll let Fozzie handle you guys Here he is now One of your favorites And I'm sure one of his Mr. Fozzie Bear <laughs> you. Oh, look out. I've got some great ones for you tonight. Hey, my wife loves children, but I can't bear them. Uh, uh. Hey, we got three kids, one of each. Uh. Oh, I'm rolling now. I'm on the roll. I'm on the roll. Yeah, well, why don't you butter yourself and slip on out of here? <laughs> Speaking of slipping, are you guys familiar with a banana sketch? Oh, nice segue. Smooth. Good blend. Mm. Mm. Hey, hey, these two bananas are walking down the street. One banana... Listen to Fuzzy. Oh, he has them eating right out from his hand. Why, well, he's got a new writer, Gags Beasley. Well, uh, not the legendary Gags Beasley. You mean you've heard of him? Well, who hasn't? 
me, for one. But Gag Beasley, he is to comedy what Mozart was to music. He wrote the famous banana sketch. The banana sketch. What's the banana sketch? You never heard of the banana sketch? But it's the funniest. <laughs> Hear that? Great, oh boy, great. I killed him. Oh boy. Yeah, I, I close with the banana sketch, you know. Father, what is the banana sketch? You never heard of the banana sketch? <laughs> hey guys, hey, Kermit never heard of the banana sketch. <laughs> I think somebody's pulling my leg. Somebody is pulling my leg. It's a great gonzo. You never heard of the banana sketch? <laughs> Once again, it's time for the king of the one-liners, the sharp retort, and the funny ears, Mr. Fozzie Bear! Hey, 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 I'm a bear, I'm not a bunny, so here's some stuff that's really funny! Hey, 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 I'm not a dope! And I'm no dummy! So how come your stuff is really crummy? <laughs> <laughs> hey, come on, you guys, I come out here just to give you a good time! Uh, if you want to give us a good time... Go back in! <laughs> <laughs> Hey, listen, why don't you guys leave Fozzie alone? Yeah, thanks, Avery. Thanks a lot. I know what it's like to be out here every night getting heckled. Yeah, yeah, by the audience, huh? No, by my partner. Oh. Yeah, I love him like a brother, but he was always concerned that the act be dignified. You know what I mean? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Huh? Dignified. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I asked him to do the banana in the ear stick. Yeah? Yeah, and he wouldn't do it. Oh, come on, that's funny stick. That's a funny bit. That's right. Yeah. He said it would look dumb. Oh, but... that, oh, the, fa- the banana's funny. Would you do it? Of course I'd do it. Try it. Oh, terrific, the banana. Here we go, in the ear. He's right, it does look kind of dumb. <laughs> well, let's see if I do. Avery! <laughs> I was just kidding. I wouldn't be out here with a banana in the ear. Show you what a good sport I am. I put the banana in my ear. Uh, nobody laughed. Oh, look at that. Oh, hey, hold, hold, it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Why is it that when I did it, you didn't laugh, but when Avery does it, you go crazy? Oh, it's his pace. His timing. His delivery. His ear. <laughs> you see, Jack, I told you it would work. This is the greatest. Oh, 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 oh. Well, folks, here comes the act you've all been waiting for, the Muppet Show's own great comedian. Here he is now, feeling a little, uh, cagey tonight. But nevertheless, still the old master of mirth, Mr. Fozzie Bear! Thank you, thank you. Hey, it's really great to be here. Ah. I spent the whole day at the doctor. I said, Doc, it hurts when I do this. He says, don't do that. (laughs) Are you laughing? (laughs) It's hard to hear. Uh, Then the doctor said, have you ever had this before? I said, yes. He says, well, you got it again. (laughs) Uh, Thank you, thank you. You've been a wonderful audience. Please get me off. Great, great, great. Let's all hear it for Fozzie Bear. Come on out and take a bow, Fozzie. It's humiliating. Right now, it's time to present a comic who, even as I speak, is in danger of negotiating himself right out of work. Ladies and gentlemen, the funniest bear since Maxie, Mr. Fozzie Bear. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, I got a feeling you're a great bunch. Not like the audience we had last week. Ha, they weren't an audience, they were a jury. Ah. <laughs> the bear's funny, huh? Yeah, he's, he's my cousin. <laughs> Wanna leave a wake up call? Uh, if you don't mind, cousin, I will do the jokes. Let him roll, he's funnier than you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, will you guys hold it down up there? Uh, you don't want them interrupting my act, right? No, I don't want them interrupting our sleep. (laughs) Hey, bring on the comic. I am the comic. Then bring on the girls. This is not that kind of show. Then bring on the girl comic. Now, now listen, I am not going to be heckled by some clown who just came off the street. 
I, I'm a pro, buddy, a real pro. Uh, look, okay, I tell you what, everybody, I am gonna turn my back, and when I turn around again, I only want to see real Fozzie Bear fans in the audience. Okay, here we go. Okay, I'm gonna turn around now. <coughs> Even my cousin? Oh, it's a cruel world. Hey, hey, how come you two guys are still there, huh? Did you lose your beds at the old fool's home? <laughs> That's too late. Thank <laughs> you.